happy Tuesday. How's your week going? Oh my gosh, running a few minutes behind um, this afternoon because I was having a really deep and meaningful conversation and time got away from me. Um, so yes, if you don't have an accountability partner, someone that you're doing life and business with who gets you on a completely different level that you can just conversate with, talk about the struggles, talk about the goods, celebrate the wins and all the things, Oh my gosh, you need an accountability partner, somebody to do life with and business with and talk about all the things with. And uh, I think you should call it like a business bestie, okay? Um, because it transforms your business in itself just by doing life with this person and these deep, meaningful conversations that you have to make more awareness into your business um, and yourself. So, hey, hey, Heidi, I see that you're watching. When you hop on, say hi. I would love to know how you're doing today. Today, we're going to be talking about asking smarter questions. So, this is kind of like a title that you're like, what? What is she talking about? Well, we're going to be talking about truly being able to transition the questions that you ask so that you can get more meaningful answers and results from these questions. So, going to dive right on in and it's about um, just really dissecting these questions to go from subconscious thinking because what happens in our bodies is every single day we have all these thoughts and we automatically think these thoughts, ask ourselves these questions and it's our body literally triggering us that, you know, we need to be aware of something in our life. And then we have to consciously think about what we're thinking about, what is going on, um, and how we can really dive into what our body is trying to signal us to. Because our body is kind of like a green light. Like when we feel, have those emotions of happiness, joy, excitement, and all those things, that's a green light. We're on go. And we have positive thoughts and things like that. But then when that yellow light occurs, it's like... Um, we have a thought and we're like, um, I got a hair in my mouth, you guys. Um, we have a thought like, um, mm, I put myself on the spot here. Um, okay. So an example would be like when you're running for your health and you know that you have to take the action to get the result, but then your body starts this homeostasis process and you start feeling nauseous and your body gets all jittery and you're like, I don't want to run anymore. My body's doing something crazy. I shouldn't run anymore. That's a yellow light signaling you that something's going on in your body and it's triggering you to think, oh, well, I need to stop running. But yet all it's trying to do is keep you safe because you haven't run like that ever before. And so you feel winded and you feel all these things and your body's feeling like, oh, it's gonna, I'm going to shut down. I can't do this, right? And so what you know physically and consciously, though, is you have the power within you to make it where you need to go. You can make it that, you know, I don't know, another 20 feet in front of you um, if you really tried, right? So... That is what we're doing with our questions. We're taking that question that pops up as a yellow light and we're really diving deep into it to figure out, you know, what in our body is, what what is the true root, the red part of this, um, so that we get the answer we need to have a full green light and go, go, go. So let me just give you a few quotes that I love when it comes to questions, okay? So the first one is, effective questioning brings insight, which fuels curiosity, which cultivates wisdom. And how is how true is this? Because if we truly ask questions, that really helps us to become curious and gain insight on what the problem is. But whenever we take that, it cultivates wisdom because we get curious enough to dive deeper into these subconscious questions that we ask ourselves, and then we can take actions that form wisdom from that. A second one, um, a second quote is, the art and science of asking questions is the source of all knowledge. And this is by Thomas Berger. Um, I don't know who that is, but I love this quote because when you think about questions, that empowers knowledge because in order to answer a question, you have to have knowledge to have that answer, right? And then the third 
um, quote that I want to tell you today is knowledge is having the right answer. So how true is that? You have to have that knowledge to be able to answer that question. But intelligence is being able to ask the right questions. And that's what I want to help you with today. Becoming more intelligent about the questions that you ask so that you can get those more meaningful results. So in um, the short time that I want to help you today, um, I, I want to start with um, something that a lot of new business owners struggle with. And this is something that I see often um, in your marketing. And you, you keep saying, I don't have any clients. I don't have enough clients. I can't get clients, right? And that's something that you really, really want. You have to have it in order for your business to be a success. You have to have those sales, right? You have to be impacting others' lives to be having that income. And something that I really help other business owners with is being able to the, to cultivate those marketing plans that actually allow them to hit all three markets and to have a marketing strategy that brings in sales. And so when I see people talking about how can I get more clients and they literally are asking themselves, you know, they, they are looking at their business structure and they're going through that process and they just automatically have that subconscious thought of this isn't working. I need more clients. How do I get more clients? And then they will go into looking for different strategies that they can implement because they feel like the strategy that they're using is not working, okay? But what really needs to happen here is they need to ask more, dive deeper into that question that they're asking. It shouldn't be just, how do I get more clients? They have to really break that question down, okay? So let me just go through this okay so if we observe the question in itself um the how do i get more clients it's the circumstance it's the result of something else and this all dives into self-mastery if you know the self-mastery process you know that circumstances are created by the thoughts that you think and then the fears or the action, the fears that you have, and then the actions that you take or the inactions create the results that you have that create those circumstances. So if you really dive deep into that question of how can I get more clients and you think about, okay, what is this a result of? Then you get to thinking about the whole self mastery process and working it backwards. So the circumstance is you're not getting the clients that you want and that's a result of what action. So what actions are not working in order to get the clients that you want? And then you ask yourself, am I fully doing my part of the actions of what the strategy entails? Okay. You could also ask, do I have my marketing strategy set up properly? Tech is a big thing. It don't always work. There could be a link broken or something like that that's creating your funnel to not work for you, right? Then you gotta ask yourself, have I been committed to the strategy long enough for it to prove beneficial? Because when it comes to startup business owners, we tend to want results now. We're impatient. We wanna see it work. We wanna implement it on day one, and then on day two, get a result from it, right? So do you have the patience and have you been committed long enough for it to actually start working, right? So as you can see, when you're diving into this, you're actually really taking that question and asking more questions from it to truly see what that core root of the problem is. The core root of the problem is not how can I get more clients? It's why am I not getting clients? What's not working in my business to not be able to get these clients, right? So in all reality, if you go deep enough with this question, you're going to go into a part of how can I self-develop? If I'm being uncommitted, how can I self-develop to gain the skills that I need to be committed to the actions that this strategy requires, right? Or if the tech is messed up, how can I gain the knowledge to fix this tech problem? Or who do I need to consult with to fix this strategy so that it works effectively with ease, right? So the whole problem that you originally subconsciously thought of, I need more clients, this isn't working, I need a new strategy, was completely bogus because it was truly a problem with yourself or a problem with the tech and you thought you just needed a whole new strategy when really you just needed to fix what was already there and wasn't working, okay? Does this make sense? Are y'all following with me? 
let me know if you're following with me. Have you ever had one of those experiences where you have taken the actions and then you had this yellow light, your body triggered you to think, oh, well, this isn't working. And then you start trying to do something new instead of trying to fix what you already have and seeing why that thing is not working, right? I know I was guilty of this in past marriages um, and that's why my marriage has failed because I felt like, well, I just can't do this anymore. But instead of working on the issue, which was myself, I was just like, I quit. I'm done, right? I'm guilty. We're all guilty of doing this in our life or our business. And we have to really learn to ask better questions. One of my coaches not long ago said, if you're transitioning from a health and life coach, why don't you just coach yourself? In that moment, I was really frustrated with that answer that that coach gave me because they asked me a question to give me an answer and that question didn't answer what I was needing at all. How many times have you had a coach that asks you a question and you're like, that doesn't answer my question at all. But what I realized after really looking back at that scenario in my life is I literally was not asking the right questions. I wasn't diving deep enough into the questions that I was asking to find the root of the problem and then working on fixing that instead of just trying to keep asking somebody else for the answers, right? How often do you try to ask somebody else a question because you don't feel that you have the knowledge that you need to be able to answer the question yourself. You feel like there's somebody far more experienced that could answer the question better than you. But the truth is in your business, in order for your business to work, you have to know yourself. You have to know who you are and you have to know what aligns with you in here in your heart. Because until you match those things up, business is going to be hard for you because you're not that outgoing. You may not be that outgoing person who is a salesperson and can just automatically walk up to say somebody and say, hey, I have this that I'm offering. Would you like to buy it? You may not be that person. So you have to align with who you are and the skill sets that you have to be able to create a marketing strategy that's going to work for you and your business that you can actually get through and maintain and manage and be able to effectively get through in your business to get the results, right? So I want to give you one more example of um, um, truly transforming these questions. So a lot of times in our marketing, um, what we do is we, in our organic marketing, we'll try to attract our ideal clients to us, okay? But what happens is when we think about our business, we think about the problem that we're trying to solve for our clients. We think about that negative thing that they are they're going through. And then we ask, we want to ask people straight up, you know, are you struggling with such and such to pull out those people? But what happens is you have business owners who will go into groups and they'll be like, are there any mommies tired of their depression, stealing their energy and joy? Okay, if you are a mommy who struggles with depression, are you going to feel confident in answering that question and drawing attention to yourself as you are a depressed mommy? No, you're probably not going to want to comment on that or answer that because you know specifically they're targeting depressed mommies, right? But if you really transform that question and really consciously thought about it and what your intention is with that question, which is to connect with mommies with depression, then you could totally transform that question so that you get a positive result, okay? So instead of saying any mommies tired of the depression, stealing their energy and joy, you could say, Mommies, how do you create energy and joy when you are feeling down and depressed? That doesn't say that you are depressed. That simply says that you have struggled with depression in the past and that you want to create energy and joy. That allows that person, your ideal client, to step up, open up, communicate about that because they feel like they are in the spotlight as someone who has knowledge and wisdom to share on that scenario. That truly is going to open them up to be able to communicate effectively and to be able for them to say, oh, I can talk about this. 
This doesn't label me as something negative. This labels me as someone who can help someone else with this. And I literally just want to help somebody else who's going through something, right? We all have that desire to help other people, especially when they're struggling, right? So you would be more apt to comment on that if you're a depressed mommy, because then you could say, oh, well, this is what I do, right? And so therefore, you would be able to connect with all those people, all those mommies who have had depression in the past. You could connect with them, conversate with them, and find out if they're still st struggling with that depression or not on a personal level. So that way, they don't feel like they are a target of negativity with a negative label, right? Does this make sense? Because I want you to be able to leave this training and I want you to be able to implement this in your life. I want you to be able to think about those questions that pop in your mind like, how can I um, get better with my health? How can I be a better leader? How can I dot, dot, dot? What is it that you're wanting to do? What is that question that comes up in your mind on a daily basis of how can I in my business, right? How can I? Because we often compare ourselves to other coaches, other business owners, other people out there that are a little farther advanced. There's something really going on with my hair. It's wavy right there in one spot. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, and uh, I want you to be able to take that question and really dive deep into what the really problem, what the true problem is, that core root. Because when you can find the core root of that problem, you're not just putting a band aid on the problem. Like that question that I mentioned earlier, how can I get more clients? If you were just to go get a new marketing strategy, then you're just putting a Band-Aid on that problem because you think you're solving the problem. But if you're uncommitted in your business and you can't follow out the task to stay consistent with a marketing strategy, are you really solving the problem at all by getting a new strategy? No, because you're going to have the same problem because you're going to be inconsistent um, with that new strategy, right? So you're really not going to get any results with either strategy because it's something that internal that you're going to have to work on to develop that skill of being committed to the strategy that you have, up leveling yourself possibly to be able to commit to the skills that are required to do that strategy, right? So I hope this helps you in learning to ask smarter questions. When it comes to questions and truly asking your coaches or your clients or anything about them or the things that you desire in this life, you really got to get intentional about what it is that you're asking. What is the result and the intention of the question? Are you trying to find a core root problem? Are you trying to connect with somebody to get them to speak up and talk about something? Is there something that you need and are you being super clear about what it is that you need? In my business, the reason that I've gotten so far so fast is because whenever it comes to knowing when I need something, I've been able to be able to do this and transition my questions and ask myself more and more questions because that's what coaching is, right? We ask more and more questions to get the deeper root of the problem. And then whenever I need something, I'm like, okay, this is what I need. Can you help me with this? Because then I'm going straight for what I need versus that surface layer problem that's not going to give me exactly what I need. And then I'm going to be dissatisfied and discontent with the investment that I made because I didn't get the result that I actually needed and something's still going to feel off within me, right? And then I'm just going to be like, every every coach I hire, every investment I make, I don't get the answers I need because nothing works, right? You don't want that. You want your investments to have that return on investment. You want to get results. You want to see things change, right? So get better at asking smarter questions and really taking that subconscious question that you have that just comes naturally and diving deeper into that. What is the core of that question? What is really become very curious about it to understand and gain knowledge on what it is that you're truly trying to get an answer for so that you can get the results that you desire in your life, in your business, with your clients, and all the things, okay? I hope this helps. If so, share it, you guys. 
and let me know what is a base layer question that you ask yourself and in the comments we can work through it or you can message me and we'll take that question and I'll help you to transform that question into more meaningful questions so that you can truly get to the the core of what that question truly means. All right. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday and I will talk to you Thursday. Bye.